Hello everyone, I'm Chen Jipong from Huazhong University of Science and Technology. Now I give a report about the digital corruption of transmission line effect in high frequency magnetic probe diagnostics without independent matching. Here we go. Magnetic diagnostics is fundamental in magnetic confined fusion device. In experiments, usually a long transmission line is collected between the magnetic probes and the acquisition systems. It can longer than 10 meters. In some parse device, the maximum frequency of signals can be larger than 100 kilohertz. In this situation, the length of transmission line is comparable to the wavelength of electron magnetic waves in transmission line. It causes a phase delay and amplitude decay of the signal. The traditional to deal with it is independent matching methods, but the magnetic probe independence is var varies with the frequency and brings the matching. A correction is needed to fight to overcome the prevalence of the parameter change as frequency changes and covers different situations including independence with matching. First, we build an analytical circuit model for the whole measurement system. Here, the transmission line is seen as a two port circuit. One port is collected to magnetic probe. The magnetic probe is seen as an input circuit to the transmission line. Here, the Z1 is the independent magnetic probe, and the US is the induced voltage. I I1 and the U1 is the input current and the voltage respectively. The other parts of the transmission line is collected to the acquisition system. The Z2 is the input uh, independent of the system and the U2 is the voltage measured. The transmission line is equivalent to a series of infinite elements like this figure. Each element consists of four distribution parameters, the resistance, the conductance, uh, inductance, conductance, and capacitance parameters. With the bound, help of the boundary conditions, the trans function, transfer function between the US and U2 can be calculated as here. The transfer function is not only related to the input circuit and output circuit, and also the transmission like characteristics, which is shown in the complex propagation constant here and the characteristics independent Z0 back here. There are two situations where the transport function can be simplified. One is in short cable where the length of the cable equals zero and the relationship between US and U2 is as a diverter, voltage diverter. The other is in long cables with independent matching conditions satisfied, where Z1 equals Z2 equals Z0. Here, the relationship between the US and U2 can simplify as this expression. It's, it's related to uh, two parameters. One is the complex uh, propagation constant. The other is the length of the cable. However, in practice, the independence of a magnetic probe vary with the frequency, such as the measured results in this figure. Here, the inductance, resistance, and the capacitance all vary with the frequency. So, the independent matching cannot satisfy in all frequency. Now, we must come back to the full transfer function, and the function is related to the frequency, so it's dispersive. The distortion to different frequency components of signal should be corrected respectively. So uh, in our correction method, all the signals are transformed to the frequency domain. First, we transfer U2 to V2 omega in the frequency domain by the Fourier transform. Then we calculate it each frequency component of the V2 by the transfer function H omega to Vs omega. Then we inverse transfer Vs to the time domain and we get the final single UST. Then we will show 
the verification in the experiment. The experiment layout is as this schematic. The time varying magnetic field is generated by the home host coil driven by single generation. A magnetic probe picks up the single load and the single load trans transmits to the oscillation by two kinds of cable. One is short, which we consider the effect of the transmission line could be a lot. The second is the long cable with 10 meters. Well, the effect of transmission line is obvious. The trans function is need to be determined before the correction. And the function is collected not only into the cable, but also the input and the output circuit. The magnetic probes independence is measured by a resistance analyzer, and the output impedance is calculated from the oscillation input independence. It's like this. The measurements of the characteristics of the cable is complicated. Here, we find a simplified way to calculate it, the complex the propagation constant. We collect a long cable directly from the single generation to the oscillation and switch the oscillation input independent to 15 ohmic. And the output independence of the generation and the character characteristic independence of the cable is also 15 ohmic. Now the independence matching is confirmed, is satisfied. With the lossless exception, the transfer function in this situation can be signified like this. It means that there is a phase delay which is linear related to the omega. Here is the measured results. We can calculate the coefficient from the slope of this uh, convert. Now, we get the uh, transform functions at all the frequencies. Now we can compare the signals from long cable, short cable, and the corrective signals to verify the correction method. First, we set the signals of uh, the frequency of signals to 600 kilohertz. Here is the result. The black dots is the signal from short cable, green is from the long cable. This, there is always a time delay and a slight attenuation between these two signals. The difference is caused by the effect of transmission line. After correction, the green line is corrected to the red one. The red one is coincided with that from the short cable. In practice, the signals always contains a continual frequency components. So we simulate this situation by a double frequency components of signal with 100 and 600 kilohertz. Here is the result. There's also an obvious time delay and a slight attenuation between the black dots and the green line. And after correction by a corresponding frequency transfer function, the green line is corrected to the red one, which is coincide with that from the short cable. The interesting thing is that if we correct the signal by a, a frequency independent transfer function, such like the blue and the magnet lines, the distortion will, will become more serious. It's verifies that different component, frequency components need to be correct respectively. The summary. First, to eliminate the single distortion during transmission on high frequency experiments, a digital correction method based on frequency dependent transfer function has been introduced in the case of impedance mismatching. Once the full frequency transfer function is determined, the output voltage can be corrected to induce the voltage of magnetic probe through the process. The verification experiment has been carried out. The result shows that the necessity and the effect of the correction method, whether the single is single frequency or multiple frequency. The method can be extended to the conditions with other mismatching cases, such as the distributed parameters of the cable or the output independence variation with frequency. Thank you.